Now that the straps and pockets are attached, it is time to assemble the bag and lining. Begin with the bag body. The first step is to pin each strap handle out of the way so that they do not get sewn into the seams while we assemble the bag. Once both straps are pinned out of the way, fold the bag body in half across the bottom. With the right sides together, line up the stitch lines along each side seam and pin them together. Begin with the corners. Remember that you are matching the drawn stitch line and not the line of thread from the flat lining. When you have finished pinning one side of the bag body, repeat on the other side seam. When the bag body has two pinned side seams, repeat this same process on the bag lining. Set the sewing machine to a stitch length of three and a stitch width of zero. Starting with the bag body, stitch along the line of the side seam, beginning at the edge of the fabric and stitching all the way down to the opposite edge of the fabric. Backstitch at the beginning and the end and also when you cross the corner. Remove your work, clip your threads from the beginning and end and repeat on the other side. Sew the same two seams in the bag lining as well. After the side seams have been completed, use the iron and a sleeve board to press the seam flat and then slip the bag body onto the sleeve board to press the seam open. Repeat the same on the other side and the bag lining. Be sure to check that the seam is completely open and flat on the right side as well as the wrong side. Next, we are gonna fold across the corner between the bag body and the side of the bag to create the shape. Line up the notch along the bag bottom with the side seam you just stitched. Pin in place. Then pin along the traced stitch line from one corner to the other. Check that the seam allowance of the pre previous seam remains open and flat. Repeat the same process on the other side and then do the same for both sides of the bag lining. Return to the sewing machine and stitch along the line. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end. Be sure to stitch all the way from one edge of the fabric to the other or you will end up with a hole in the corner of the bag.
When finished, clip your threads and repeat on the other side of the bag. After stitching both sides of the bag body, do the same with the bag lining. As you are stitching, make sure that the seam allowance remains flat against the rest of the fabric. If it begins to curl as you reach it, stop, put your needle down, and lift the presser foot up so that you can gently push the fabric back underneath of it, put the presser foot down, and continue to sew. Now you have completed the assembly of the bag body and the bag lining and you are ready to bag out the two together.